This video is for beginners to know about the basic anatomy in a chest x-ray. In a chest x-ray, you have to look at the lung fields and pleura, mediastinum, bones and the soft tissue. So whenever you are looking at the lung fields, always see whether the density is same on both sides. Divide the lungs into zones and analyze carefully and compare both sides. So lung zones include apical, upper zone, middle zone and the lower zone. The apical zone is at and above the clavicles. Upper zone is from the level of clavicles to the superior hilar margin. Middle zone is between the superior and the inferior hilar margin. And the lower zone is from the inferior hilar margin to the costophrenic angle. Then we have to see the pleura. Pleura is a lining that covers the lungs. So this is the pleura which will cover the lung entirely. But the pleura is not seen always. It is only visible when they are thickened or when fluid accumulates in them. We also should see the costophrenic angle and the cardiophrenic angle. Costophrenic angle between the ribs and the diaphragm. Cardiophrenic angle is between the diaphragm and the cardiac margins. These are important because in certain pathologies like pleural effusion, costophrenic angle will be obliterated first. Then we have to see the mediastinum. It is very important to know the anatomy of the mediastinum because so many structures are buried here. First we have to see the left side. So we will see the yellow color one that is subclavian vessel which is seen as a convexity here around the clavicle. Then just below it we can see the question mark shaped area that is aortic knuckle. Aortic knuckle is nothing but the aortic arch. And just below it another convexity is a pulmonary trunk or the pulmonary bay. Between these two there is one area called the aortopulmonary window. This is an important landmark for mediastinal lymphadenopathy. Next we have to see this border, left heart border. It is made by the left atrium and the left ventricle both. The right heart border is made only by the right atrium as the right ventricle is located more anteriorly. And the right atrium will continue to form the superior vena cava and the junction between these two are called the KO atrial junction. Next we have to see for some lines and stripes. So junctional lines are points where the right and left lung borders meet. These are folds of pleura. There is anterior junctional line and posterior junctional line. Anterior junctional line is located in the midline and little inferiorly and posterior junctional line is located superiorly. Another line that we have to see is the line formed by the descending thoracic iota. So you know now that this is the aortic knuckle which continues inferiorly as a straight line along the left paravertebral border to form the descending thoracic iota this one the blue one and another one is a yellow line it is a aseco esophageal line so it is located posteriorly between the aseagus vein and the esophagus so these lines are important in case of any mediastinal masses to know their location so now we know that the aseco esophageal line is posteriorly because aseagus vein and esophagus are posteriorly so any lesion which causes obliteration of this line we have to Understand that the lesion is located in the posterior mediastinum. Another things are the right and left paravertebral line. And these are two stripes. These are areas between two lucencies. Trachea is an airfield structure. Lungs are airfield structures. So the area between these are called the paratracheal stripes. Right paratracheal stripe and the left paratracheal stripe. Then we have to see the trachea which is an airfield structure. Which divides into right and left bronchi at the level of carina. This point is called the carina. And the right bronchus will divide into right upper lobe bronchus and bronchus intermedius. Left will divide into left upper and lower lobe bronchus. Also we have to see the shadows of the pulmonary artery. Right pulmonary artery branches and the left pulmonary artery branches. Then after seeing the lungs, pleura, mediastinum, it is equally important to see the bones. To look for any fractures, any bony lesions or any other pathologies. So always look at the clavicle both clavicles to the full extent as it is visualized look for the spinous process of the vertebrae the vertebral bodies how much ever it can be visualized and also see for the ribs we have to see the anterior ribs and the posterior ribs posterior ribs will be more horizontal as we can see here and the anterior ribs will be more oblique the course through which the arrow is going Last, we have to look at all the soft tissues which can be seen, any soft tissue lesions, look for the asymmetry or anything present between the two breasts in case of female patients. Uh, so that is in a gist what anatomy you have to know in a chest x-ray. Thank you.